Thanks for joining our Healthy Start at Home video. Today we are going to make a large batch of dry pancake mix. Making larger batches from scratch when you have a few extra minutes can save you time in the future and possibly some money too. We are then going to make some pancakes to eat. For the dry pancake mix we are going to be mixing 6 cups of flour. In our home we mix our flour so it is 50% whole wheat. If not already pre-mixed you could also do 3 cups of white flour and 3 cups of whole wheat flour. 8 teaspoons of baking powder, 2 teaspoons of salt, and 2 tablespoons of sugar. The sugar is optional as pancakes are typically topped and eaten with additional sweeteners. Mix the dry ingredients well. This pancake mix can be stored in an airtight container and used when you want to make pancakes in the coming weeks. You can also make a larger dry mixture to suit your family's needs so it lasts longer. When you are ready to make a batch of about 12 medium pancakes, mix the following. 2 cups of the pre-made pancake mix, 1 egg cracked in a separate glass or container so you can check for eggshells, 1 and a half cups of milk, and 1 teaspoon of oil. Children love to mix ingredients. Add a splash more milk as needed so the batter is easy to pour but not too thin. To cook the pancakes you can either use a stovetop frying pan or an electric grill. You will also need a pancake flipper to turn them over and to remove them from the cooking surface. Based on your child's ability they may be able to pour the batter onto the grill. A stool or a chair may be needed to get them up to the right height. A small measuring cup is helpful for children to pour the right amount of batter per pancake. Choose the size of measuring cup based on the size you want your pancakes. We are using a half a cup for ours. For younger children or children who are just learning this skill, you may want to do a hand over hand method to help them scoop and pour the batter where you want it to go. Eventually, with practice, they will be ready to try it out themselves with your close supervision. Check out our other videos for more information on recipes, fun physical activities, and tips on how to have positive mealtimes and develop movement skills with your little ones.